So Max and I have this cozy little corner in our bedroom and we have been wondering what we should do with it. And we finally decided that we are gonna turn it into a little reading nook, which I am super excited about. So we ended up getting this chair actually from World Market this weekend. And it is known as a Papazon chair. So it has this base that is adjustable and kind of swivels, I guess. Hey. So it has this base that's like kind of adjustable and you can detach it and move it all over the place. It's super light actually and then it comes with this huge fluffy cushion that you just put on top. Um, so I read in this last night and I can attest that it is very comfortable. And then we do have a bookshelf that the old owner left behind um, at our house. So. I'm planning on painting that. It is currently just a wood color, but I think we're gonna go with a green. Um, probably the same green that I painted another piece of furniture not too long ago, because I think that will just look really good up here. So stay tuned. Planning on putting some wall decor on over here and getting a floor lamp and making it a really cozy space. So stay tuned. We headed to Goodwill to look for some frames. I wanted to put some custom artwork in and then I found this sweet piano lamp which ended up not being bright enough but it is still really cute. It was only $8 so I snagged that. I really love this gold frame so much. It's an 8x10 and then I liked what was in this frame already so I was going to just keep that. And then I have this other frame that I picked up that I ended up hanging up as well. Then it was time to tackle the bookshelf. I went in with 80 grit sandpaper all over and then I did a quick pass with 120 grit sandpaper after that. I was going to prime it first but this primer was looking pretty old and chunky. It was about two years old um, so I just decided to pass on that and just go straight in with Muted Sage by Bear. I used a paintbrush for the corners and the hard to reach places and then I went over the top with a roller brush for a nice smooth finish. After I had it sanded down I was sort of regretting not doing like a two-toned wood and sage green um, bookshelf but I just continued and I decided to go all in with the green so I painted the whole entire thing green. And I only needed two coats and everything was covered just fine. I actually didn't need the primer. Then about a day later, I dragged the bookshelf upstairs all by myself because I got impatient and didn't want to wait for Max to get home, of course. And then I put all my books back on the bookshelf and I had so much room left and I was just thinking to myself, great, now I can buy more books. I have so much extra space. Y'all, this is why I wanted this corner as a reading nook because it is about 5 p.m. right now. The sun is starting to go down and it is seriously one of the most gorgeous spots in the house. I measured out my frames and the sizes for the artwork that I would need and then I hopped into Canva and started creating some custom artwork. I was really stuck between I'd rather be reading one more chapter and the book was better. I ended up going with I'd rather be reading as my favorite but the other ones turned out so cute too. So both of my custom little artwork pieces turned out so cute. I actually just snagged this right from Canva, so I actually did not make this or anything, but I saw like line drawings when I was looking up some inspiration and I just love them so much. And so I picked this picture of a face and then we went with I'd rather be reading for now. I had a bunch of different options um, that were really good too. And then I think I'm just going to keep this, what is in the frame in here for now. I, I feel like it fits good with the pink. Um, this is kind of my layout I'm thinking for on the wall and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps with things and I still need something to go right here so I'm working on that um, but I think I want to just get some things up so that I know what I need but I don't know exactly the layout that I want to do for this wall yet. That is where these pictures will be going. So I am going to wait until Max gets home so he can help me decide. 
When Max got home from work, he helped me decide on a good layout and then we just put some nails in the wall and hung the artwork up. I'm really happy with the layout of the frames and I think the artwork is so cute and it just adds so much color and personality to the space. Even though the piano lamp is not bright enough for me to be able to read with just the lamp and I do need a book light, I do love it in this space and I'm excited to eventually get a floor lamp that kind of has the same vibe to it. This was such a simple project and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I hope that you enjoyed watching this transformation too. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and happy reading!